Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing an ice cream cone. It's a nice day in New York City, kind of in early spring. It's in the 60s, so I was thinking about ice cream. So why not draw some? It has a lot less calories if you do it this way. So to start drawing our ice cream cone, we're going to draw the cone part. We'll start a little bit above the middle of the page, or the middle if that's what you prefer, and make kind of a slanted line, like that. Then we'll come over a little bit to the right here, and make another slanted line that meets the first line at the bottom. There we go. Next, we're going to start the ice cream part. And an ice cream scoop, as you know, is a round shape because of the shape of the scoop itself. So we'll estimate that it should start about here and bring down a couple of curved lines that go out a little bit further than our cone. And when the ice cream scoop picks up the ice cream, it always leaves a little bit of extra around the edge of the scoop, which is what comes out over the side of the ice cream cone. So we can draw that part with little curves. Start on that side with a little curve, kind of jutting out a little bit and coming back in. And you can repeat that pattern. And this gives the impression of uh, ice cream coming out over the cone and it's very generous serving. And what flavor is our ice cream? Well, you can decide by the color of your magic marker. So even though my favorite ice cream is banana, today we're having strawberry, which is nice too. And I'm going to just indicate the color by creating shading using the color of the flavor. And that indicates the roundness of the scoop. And you can shade all of the dripping parts too. Next, we're going to put the texture on the ice cream cone. And this is one of those sugar cones. And the way the pattern is on this is little triangles. And they can be created by making lines. Some that go this way. And some that go this way. And we're going to repeat this pattern over and over across the entire cone. But maybe you'll just do a few of these in one corner, just to kind of indicate the pattern. Next, we're going to put some shadowing on the cone itself. Give that a little bit of depth also. And there you are. It's an ice cream cone. And since it's a pointed thing, it's kind of tough to give it a place to be. Can't really put it in the grass. But we can make these lines. One big, one small, one big. One big, one small, one big. And kind of, earthquake, and kind of give it the context of excitement as if the ice cream cone itself was just bursting with excitement. <laughs> I guess for some people it does. And that's it. This is our ice cream cone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Share this video with somebody you like. Hit the subscribe button. I'll be drawing plenty of more things with you in the future. Until next time, 
It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da! I'm hungry.